and welcome back to Novaitis. So last time we were able to level up uh, in the prestige level to the point where we actually became part of sort of, well I would say the ruling class, but the upper class. We became the first, the first level on gentry and hopefully we can increase that. Unfortunately, uh, we were not able to allow to to join the Svartian as a lord. Um, so the the king did not decide to restore me or my family to uh, the prominence before. Um, which is going to be, well, it, sort of, it fits rather well with the story. Um, anyways, as you can see now, I have a party of 93, which I've actually... I probably had the ability to get like this for quite a long time. But um, I went ahead and I asked because um, the Viscount of Suno has had a number of occasions asked me to become a mercenary for the Svardians and I decided that th this is probably the best way to, to gain the respect of the kingdom. Now we'll uh, hopefully upgrade sort of the level of like, like the Svardians will like me more if you go into the... Um, can we see, maybe we can see that? Lord relation faction relationship report. So we can see that the Kingdom of Svadia is I have got twelve. The Vagrid Sardom is angry because I raided some of the village. Yes, and Sendar is minus forty, and that's because right now we're at war with them. Or the Svadians at war, and since I am part of the Svadians as a mercenary company, um, that is why uh, it looks like that. Anyways. Uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and raid some villages, but I've also scouted out a bit on the frontier. And this castle right here um, is uh, has quite a, the low manpower in it. Now, my the party though, my party consists mostly of militia and archers and stuff, which is not really able to stand up against. You know, we're not able to take a castle. There's about a hundred men in the castle, so it's gonna be... So, a direct assault is not really going to work. I don't think. So, what we're going to do is we're gonna try to level these people up. Um, also, I think the Vaeger army is actually gathering over here. Um, so, we'll see how that goes, but hopefully we'll be able to raid some more of their villages. Uh, which should be quite profitable. I've already raided one. Consulting that King Cedrus has decided to confer uh, on Grand Duke Montaco. Okay. So I actually get uh, uh, the announcements for that. I th believe I, this village. I think I was the one who raided that. Or the one beyond. I can't remember. Uh, but as you can see, this castle hasn't even been given out. Uh, proper by the Vega Kingdom, which is why it has such a low garrison. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a look. Ah, yes, uh, just as I suspected, the Vega army is actually gathering close by, but you can see 86 men. And uh, we could possibly go ahead and take, take that castle. Now, we've got one guy here chasing us. We outnumber him, but I imagine he's got better troops than us. Uh, Svardian archer, crossbow men. We're probably gonna need some footmen. Ah oh yes, I got some more, um, I got, I picked up, um, Jayara again, because she turned up. And Jeremy's the monk, so now I've got three healers. So, uh, in case, I mean, I, I could lose a few of them and still be able to retain quite a good uh, force within fighting force um, so we do outnumber them almost two to one the question is I think they've got a lot of horsemen which I don't but uh, let's see if we can't fight them HALT! the odds are not in your favor today 
you may fight us, but there is a lot of shame. There is also no shame if you ye if I yield to you. Pfft. I have twice the numbers. I cannot yield. Fight, we shall. So uh, we've got quite a lot of enemies coming at us. Uh, let's see. Everyone on me. I wonder if the enemy is the enemy is charging us directly. Infantry to the front. Archers to the back. Cavalry charge. And uh, draw your sword. Oh, this guy is. You know what? If I can capture some of these people. That would be nice. Oh, now I know why. Oh shit. Crap. Uh, why don't I go for the infantry? They should be easier slayed. And hopefully my men will be able to kill off the few knights. Soldiers, attack! I do have my archers in the back to... Uh was that the Lord? Maybe it was. Get the knights! Forwards, men! I'm not entirely sure if we're winning or what's going on, but... I'm going to go ahead and uh, attack this here force of archers. Have at you! Looks like we're winning over here. So I'll give the order for everyone to advance and attack the enemy. And he thought he, he was going to win against us. Get him. Who remains? We've got one guy. Far away somewhere. Forwards, men of Svadia. Well, it's a mercenary company, but all the troops here are from Svadia, so... Where exactly is this single soldier? Ah, <laughs> it's a flag dude, and he's just standing there. You know what? Halt, men. And... Hold your fire. The guy is unarmed, so, so I will just knock him down. We do practice mercy within the Svardian Kingdom. I invite you to surrender, good sir. Oh, it's a, it's actually a cannoneer, isn't it? There we go. We are victorious. Ah, we took him prisoner. That's excellent. And I can ransom him. We will ransom the... Uh, we'll release the others, though. Bandits. No, I'm not going to take on the bandits. Ooh, this helmet looks rather nice, but no. 46. Lame horse and stuff. We got some loot. And Jeremus the monk um, up was able to upgrade from that. Ha! You know what? We need more men. We need more men since we lost a few of our force. So we need to increase the numbers. So we'll go on a bit of a recruiting spree. And then uh, we'll uh, come back to attack the enemy. And see about getting that fort, possibly. Crossbowmen, sharpshooters. Recruits. 
Jeremiah the monk. Let's see what well the skill you have is uh, medical. So oh po pole arm though yes pole arm you do have a staff so we're gonna put the, all your points in pole arm there we go and then I do actually believe that even though it's controlled Cedrus wishes to inform the lords of kingdoms about the feast in Praven you know we are at war with two factions right now he's holding a feast you know what I'm I'm starting to see a pattern here I'm starting to see a pattern uh, what's this? War tax! Two wars. Oh! So, as a lord, you're paying extra tax if there's a war on. And, as we can see, mercenary payment for kingdom is about 200. But then, why do I get war t oh, I get the war tax because I'm gentry, I guess. The, when all my businesses are um, not doing very well in terms of uh, the kind of cash they uh, produce so clearly only oh no force recruitment is unnecessary i think uh i think i have 90 95 is the um mend arms and then swadian some more archers and then rest will be footmen and then the archers will be crossbows and so on. So we got quite quite the good party right now. I don't think we're going to go full um, 95. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over here. And oh, what's this? During your travels, you notice an old beggar with tousled hair and shrouded in tattered clothes. Before he can end his request for some gold, a young, s swiftly boy. A young... Swiftly boy steps out. I think it's supposed to be a young boy swiftly steps out of the shadows and pushes him into the mud and runs away as fast as he can. While surrounding people are stunned. You give him a hand and pull him out of the mud. Are they stunned that he was pushed down or the fact that a man of the gentry would pick him up? As your parents learned you, offering your help and giving him some silver pieces then suddenly as he stands up his cloths fall to the ground and you see he uh, vo his woven wig which fell off his head and you also see that this beggar is actually well dressed it's no beggar after all it's just a miserable seemingly rich scrooge begging for money so we got, how does he dare ask for money? I'll push him into the mud again, 60 gain, bad religious trained. Rawr, how does he dare take my money? I would cut off his head if he was slightly gaining bad mental state trained and prestige. So we get prestige and stuff, but I think we're going to be merciful because, er, uh, alright, let's leave this curious person. I mean, I have a chance of getting a 80% chance of gaining a good a religious strength if I give him. And I have quite a lot of money, so. Let's go for option four. Uh, what's this? Saint-like! You will see this man walk along the saints, the great ones in history. He's truly a deep religious feeling and leads a pure life. 100% battle advantage benefits from tactic skill. Only against Lord with different fate. So clearly, I will do very well if um, it godlike. If we end up no good looking, saint like. There we have it. So if I go to um, if there's a crusade, if they call a crusade, I'm gonna need some water here. And it looks like the bastards are trying. They're actually going to attack me, even though I've no, no, I've three times their numbers. I'm a follower, uh, you know I'm saint-like. That's the one through fate. Uh, thank you, okay, so... I still haven't figured out the thing about the testament though, clearly. Um, not very good ground, to say the least. Oh, everyone forwards. Uh, we don't really have time, except for the archers, which will stay back. No, you can't really swing the um, the 
with two-handed sword very well when you're on a horse. Come on then! You know what? I can drag these bastards. Ooh, that was nice. I can just drag these bastards in front of all the archers. So just come along here. Yes, follow me, you bastards. Because they don't have any shields, it should be quite easy for the archers to uh, find their mark, as it were. But my infantry is quite light, and so they probably lost quite a few men. Boom! Did you want to see that? Jump he did. And then once more victorious. We lost four men, some wounded. And uh, you know what? Why don't we send our crossbowmen? We're at any weird war with Sendars. We're not. We're not. A we're not going to be able to take them on. And uh, uh, well, the morale of the troops that we would take on would not be very good. Mounted sergeant. Footmen, more men at arms, footmen, crossbowmen, sharpshooters, Cedric got a level, let's push these cavalrymen up to the front, convoy, there we go, and we're gonna head over here, and then we're gonna see about, well, how many were that, 33, another blood of one of these blasted castles have turned up. Uh, there's a tournament, but we're not going to join that, because I am on the warpath, as it were. We got 300 for that, that's not very good. But uh, it's enough, at least, so I can buy a load of water. We don't want to get maybe too much, because we're possibly looking at looting some enemy uh, territory at this place. And once we've looted that, we can do, we can move through and see if we can hand over to the castle. It looks like it's actually being given out to a lord at this point. Um, so, uh, well, if we're going to loot this, we're going to have to head back and, and sell the stuff. You know what? It's probably best if we're going to take it. There's no better time than now to do it. And let's see if the army is still here. No, the army is clearly gone. Oh, they made peace just. Let's see how many. 86 men. I, you know, with my valor and my great sword, I probably could have taken that castle. But peace it is then. Well, then we have to head into the mountains to attack uh, Sendar. Uh, weapon mastery is has your own foot right now so let's go ahead and put you some points towards that then we're gonna have to head over to the Sendar Republic so uh, there's some castles there as well we could look at it would be nice to take like a town but uh, we got some castles there and we could possibly burn some of the villages up here this village or this one though it's been really uh, Kulmar Castle is our target, so let's move there uh, with all haste. And then at some point I have to deal with the, this uh, crappy place. Was that 50 men? Yes, 50 of them. 50, bloody hell. Ah, that's the wrong castle. Kulmar Castle. Oh, is it? We gotta keep an eye out for enemy armies as we close in on enemy territory. Kingdom of Sardia. It's kind of, um, it's ballsy of him to go out with just 22 men. Kalmar Castle. Uh, you see the castle up on the Kalmar Castle, it's called. I did some work there not long ago. It's not as showy as some of the other castles in the land, but it's the finest stonework I ever saw. 
Wow. And I thought maybe we could take it. Tell me more about this castle. Like most castles that la uh, last around here, it's got foundations that are old Imperial Kaladric. Kaladric. You cannot see them anymore with all the rebuilding, but the slabs are the size of a house. They must have been real sorcerers back then in those days, because I don't see how they move those things um, otherwise. Beautiful location too. Coma sits right in the front of the pass leading out of Galradia, which allows the lords to charge a pretty penny of toll. And here's the funny thing, when the Rodox land first rebelled against the Svalians, they all said they weren't going to have any noble lords ruling over them. You can guess how long that lasted. One Rodok hill chieftain set himself up in Kalma Castle, called himself Count, and the good uh, burgers of Yolalka and Voluka had to lick his boots if they wanted to sell their wine and velvet outside of Kalraria. And if you want to keep the counts under control and the peasants providing the town with food rather than selling it to the highest bidder, then you need a king too, don't you? The Rodok lands are no different than anyone else. Whatever gruff they talk about ancient liberties and freedom. Let's see. 81! Senda. You know what? Senda Knight. Senda. You know what? We will boldly build a siege tower. How long will that take? That will take three days. Ah, that's one of the downsides of attacking Colmar Castle. Colmar Castle and the other castle over there. Oh, was that an enemy? No, that wasn't. The Estrong Castle. Et Rosk. Et Rosk Castle. Um, are both owned by the same man. You can see by the standard. Consulting peer has decided to confirm... Okay, so he's confirming stuff on different people. If I could take this... Oh, crap! Count the Belangi. And he's got a hundred men. Um, and he brings in another... We've got a big, nice hill up here. Which... Soldiers, on me, we need to claim, if we are to defeat this uh, uh, lord. Hurry, men, we need to gain the top. We have the high ground. Oh, there they are. Cavalry to me, infantry to me, artillery, archers to me. Cavalry charge! Stop the enemy! Cavalry. And then I want the archers. Charge downhill! We've got the higher ground. Archers to the front! Infantry behind! Yes, charge down! Do we have an enemy down there? Uh, some of the enemy cavalry moved that way. Keep up the fire, men of Swadia. I will lead the infantry on foot. Keep firing archers. I just want the uh, the cavalry or uh, my cavalry to stop the enemy a bit. Charge down, hill men, and slay the enemy. Archers. Hold your fire for a bit. This can be a great victory, but I need to make sure that we keep our men under control. Archers, fire at will again. And then in the right moment, looks like they've defeated our cavalry. And so I'm going to have to send in the uh, the infantry. They've got desert dogs with them.
Time to send in the uh, infantry. Charge infantry. The Sendar bastards. We shall slay them. But clearly my ambitions on taking a castle have been ruined by this battle. Blasted. How did they how did th these bastards get desert dogs to join them? They clearly have no interest in the good virtue of Christianity. Using heathens in their armies. Fight on, men! Victory is around the corner. It looks as though victory is not around the corner, because I'm the last man standing in our army. Luckily, though, I have the stamina of a lion, and uh, unfortunately, that is not enough, though. I probably should have cut losses and ran, but uh, that's what happens sometimes. This, uh, damn. I lost quite a lot of men here, but we took down 80 enemies. Let's see what I lost. Uh, heraldic, uh, heraldic armor, so they stole my armor. It's probably the worst part they stole. Dirty water. Damn. And now I'm imprisoned in Sandar. Oh. No, but they t took all the 77 men out of my party. I still have some uh, of my companions left. Blast. Um, I'm gonna have to, f you know, get my troops back. Or get, uh, recruit another force. And uh, I'm going to have to find, I don't know how many of my party members I've lost. I see that we've lost the engineer. He's gone, so he might actually be imprisoned uh, in Sendar. So we could go ahead and take a look at that. You're another healer, so we're going to put your stuff in healing. And then why don't we head down to Sendar to see if we can release... Uh, the prisoners. There's probably some lords down there as well, or there could be. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. Let's see, Viscount. Yeah, there is a Viscount in imprisoned here. Uh, but it doesn't look like my friends are there. But we could see about. We will disguise ourselves, sneak into town. And then visit the local church, walk around, take a walk around town. Okay, he won't actually let me in, but I just, I snuck in. Shouldn't I be able to? I, s th that's, I understand the thing about not being let around, but I guess maybe I'm too well known then. Uh, to be let in here. This place is being raided. This is Vardian Trade Convoys, aren't we at war with these guys? But still, our trade convoys make it through. That's kind of strange. Anyways, I will recruit another party. And we will see about uh, gaining a victory against um, the uh, Merchant Republic of Sendar. And so, when I finally managed to get a good party set up again uh, and get the money and so forth um, most of the Sendar Republic is under enemy control as you can see the Kingdom of Rodox has even taken the capital itself while uh, Svadia has taken Yelen and I believe the king is actually in control of Yelen then, also the castle I was thinking about taking, Colma Castle was taken. 
by uh, um, the f the army which is set up right now by um, Count Despin or Earl Despin he is, uh, which is the current marshal, and right now we're sieging the last stronghold of the Sendar Republic. So the Republic will fall once this castle falls. The Republic will be uh, no more. Which might be unfortunate, I do not know. But since I am part of uh, the Svardian Empire, it's most likely that I do not care that much for a Republic. Anyways, let's go ahead and join and end the Republic. We attack in the night. Okay, let's strike fear into the men of the Republic. Are they going for the gate, the rest of them? Is the gate open? Or why are they heading over there? Also, yes, one thing that happened was that a few... Oh, you can see the cross there through the moonlight. You can see a number of crosses, actually. The Sendar Republic is, of course, a Christian nation. Fight, men! It's gonna be hard for me to get anywhere through here. With so many enemies everywhere. But we are witch witnessing the fall of the Republic of Sendar. But what I wanted to say was um, also that there, there has been some technological changes and so the, Vi the Kingdom of Vaegar and the Swadians have managed to uh, uh, reach the next level on the technological stage. So they have increased... Um, now I'm not entirely sure what this means exactly. Also, I got because of my um, um, because of my uh, I guess all my businesses. Ah, oh, crap! Don't tell me I'm gonna fall and oh god. Uh, because of the fact that I'm very good at doing business and such, I got. Um, one of those trained abilities uh, by choosing in between uh, mercantilism or uh, the sort of state control of uh, of uh, what's it called of trade, or if I wanted to go for a more free trade trade policy, and I went for more free trade, um, or then I would advocate for more free trade rather than restrictive trade and uh, when I did that I gained the trait that uh, I'm now good at sort of of governance really so I gained I think it's a 10% bonus when I actually control a town or um, a similar settlement that I gain 10% bonus to the money that is made Unfortunately, I probably should have gone closer so I could have actually be part, but um, in actually fighting here. Where do I? I do. Do I have any of my archers? Because then we can pull them back. Let's see. It looks like quite a few, actually. What am I controlling all of them? Did I really have that many archers? What am I control? Am I controlling everyone? Let's see. Let's see if everyone... Everyone... A lot of people seem to be moving, at least. So a lot of these soldiers are mine. It might even be so that I'm controlling everyone. What's this? We've got bloody heathen among us. We're gonna let all that uh, crossbow and archer fire go in through that opening. Oh, the cannoneer crew. 
Where the cannons staff, you will stay behind. Unless you've already maybe fallen. Now there comes the staff, the monk. Some of my staff might have fallen. And will weaken the uh, the Sendarians. I'm not sure what to call them. The Republicans. The uh, the Sendarians. We will uh, weaken them by just shooting as much as possible. And then once the ripe, when they're ripe for the taking, I will give the order. Oh. They see the commander of the battle force and they attack him. New enemies have arrived. I think this is though... I probably should... You know what? Let's give the order to attack before... The bulk of those forces actually get to the wall. So we can get... So we can claim the wall and then move uh, down from it. So forward men, forward for Christ. Let's slay these dogs. Hopefully we'll be able to get through here before... Mm, it doesn't look like it though. Yeah, because they're holding up there. You know what? Isn't there... Is it F5? Yes. Can I do this? I can only do this once to increase my hit points. What are what else were there? Let's see here. Rage. I can increase my focus, weapon, agility, sprint, num 3, whistle for a horse, first aid, uh, wounded. Inspire troops, rally your wounded troops to fight and recover leadership charisma present. Of their hit morale shock and a fearsome cry to terrify weakened opponents around you. Taunt attract the attention of the enemies more with higher charisma. Defense consume. You know what? Let's go do the morale shock, see if that works. So wait, was was the morale shock? It was on seven. Fearsome war cry. Maybe that uh, forced them away because it looks like we've managed to just get through. If you look on the map, you can see that uh, the bluish color is now overtaking. Forwards, men! We we'll probably need a reinforcement soon of just m uh, normal soldiers. We're going to tell the archers to spread out so to uh, make it easier for reinforcements to go through those lines and I think it's time for me to join in to join through to join this combat glor 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 out of my way soldier bloody serenade bastard Come on, men. There's only 63 enemies left. Yarrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Uh, w uh, you know what? Let's see if we can kick him off. This is Svadi, I want to say. And then I will kick you off. We slowly put... Yeah, come on. Yes. No, 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 no. Go closer to the... Go closer to the... God damn it. Just gonna bloody well... Whack you over the head. Oh, look at that. People... <laughs> people are falling. No! People are falling off the wall. They're pushing them off. Wait, there more. There's one more guy over here. Oh, there's a f guy with a flag. Hello there. Oh, there's actually two of you. That's my favorite. Getting uh, whacked over the head with some kind of mace or something. The hut nyud nyud. The castle is us. Or the castle is ours. And the Sendai Republic is no more. Um, a lot of them were taken prisoner. And the castle is now ours. Let's see if we can just talk with the commander after the battle. Well met, gentleman Henry. I will never forget the when we capture the castle together. Who do you think should get... You know what? I am i can't even... Say anything about that. I am gentleman Henry. Good. I need friends. Let's go ahead and follow Despin then. And uh, see what it takes us, but the war should be over because the Sendai Republic is no more. Oh, the war is over. The Sendai Republic is no more. And uh, Svadia is at peace. Now, I do actually possess quite the good fighting force. And so it would be a shame to uh, disband that. Now, my, I might want to wait to see if, uh, as some people say, there will be a, a crusade will be called um, in which we will then attack the Holy Lands and try to uh, conquer them, which could be good. Or, in case that it drags out too much, since this party costs quite a, much, uh, quite a lot, and I have to pay for the food and water for it. If that's the case, then maybe I should venture into the new world and discover the riches that lie beyond the horizon for those men who boldly dare to go as far as that. But anyways... This will be the end of the episode, so I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully, I will see you guys for the next one. Bye!